Water and wastewater utilities are increasingly expected to deliver high quality and affordable services to their customers while lowering their environmental impact, coping with climate change, and complying with legal requirements. In order to produce safe drinking water and to treat wastewater to a high standard for discharge back into the environment, utilities usually rely on a range of engineered treatment processes. Unfortunately, these technical systems require a lot of energy, chemical inputs, and maintenance. But there are alternative treatment options. Landscape features such as riverbanks, aquifers, and constructed wetlands can also be used to treat and store water. Such green infrastructure systems are less intensive than engineered systems. They can still significantly improve water quality by filtering out particles, biodegrading a variety of chemical compounds, and removing harmful organisms like bacteria and viruses. In addition, the natural systems can provide space for wildlife and help improve the connectivity between different habitats. They promote the growth of vegetation and soil microbes, which can help store carbon. They can also create more visually appealing green space, which can benefit the health and well-being of local communities and can even become a source of local pride and identity. However, these natural systems are affected by variation in the quantity and quality of the water they need to treat, especially during extreme events like floods or drought periods. They can struggle to maintain good performance under such adverse conditions and when it comes to removing contaminants of emerging concern. One way of addressing these challenges is to merge elements of both concepts into combined natural and engineered treatment systems, or CNES. In a CNES, the nature-based approaches are upgraded with engineered pre- or post-treatment processes, which help to sustain and support the treatment capacity. This improves the overall performance and reliability of the whole treatment train. It also means that the technical treatment steps can be smaller than they would otherwise be in fully engineered systems, which can lower their environmental impacts. Such combined systems can therefore allow utilities to better reconcile the expectations of their customers, their regulators, and the public for the benefit of the environment. The Aquinas project is demonstrating the performance of different innovative combined systems at 14 sites across Europe, Israel, and India. The outcomes of the project will help utilities to make more informed choices about whether and how to incorporate combined systems in their treatment assets. Visit our website to find out more about CNES.